number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the news roundup. That's right. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done one of these because, well, last week I was tired. And I also happened to have my schedule kind of screwed up from a barbecue. So you know what? Never us mind that. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who were it's your first time here, this is where I kind of cover the news of what's going on with the Iron Age sphere or the indie sphere, as it's affectionately known, and tell you guys the things that I am seeing out there, the projects I'm seeing out there, what's ending soon, what to look out for, how you can get involved, and all of that. So if you guys like what I am doing here, it would mean so much to me if you guys would like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And I don't have an animation for this like the one that you just saw, but even more importantly than all of those things, if you guys really like what I'm doing here, click that share button and let everyone know how much you like what you see here, because that is one thing that helps me grow on the channel and helps me so much. Uh, one of the things with these Iron Age videos, just so you guys know, is that they don't get a lot of traction because uh, the keywords in the YouTubes doesn't exactly function that way. But you know what? I enjoy doing this. My audience who is here enjoys doing this and I've had a lot of positive feedback. So I'm gonna keep doing this regardless of the YouTube algorithms. But if you guys actually click that share button and get it out there for me, you can change the algorithm for me. So thank you guys so much. And without any further ado, let's get into the news of last week. So first things first, I am going to start off with talking about how we actually had the Ripperverse crew. That's right, the people who back up Eric July, who have helped him create the Ripperverse, who've helped him in the warehouse, who help him with video editing, who help him with I did reaching out to people, who help him with his social medias. We had all of those people come on on last Friday's Iron Age Nights, which is Iron Age Nights number 47. And hopefully you guys will want to check that out because if you're an aspiring author or an aspiring businessman or somebody who's looking to do something similar to the scale that Eric Delia is doing, or even not on that scale, but you're just looking for some helpful tips and tricks and some problems that you might've faced, well, that was the theme of the night. And we covered a lot of problems that they had to face while working and building the rip averse and kind of growing from there. So I really do hope you guys want to go check that out. Uh, I know it's kind of a shameless self-promotion here, but it's my channel. I'm obviously going to do those things. Next up on the news from last week, we have, oh, I got to open my tab here. We have the Indie Comics Creator Con, a show for fans of indie comics. And that is going to be coming up in March 9th of 2024. There's an active Kickstarter going on as well as a sign-up link. Both of those links will be in the description below. So if you're just wanting to get there, go check out the Kickstarter. Fund that if you're just going as a fan. If you're a creator, they have a sign-up link for creators to go. This is going to be in New Haven, Connecticut. So hopefully you guys out there who are looking to interact in more conventions and be more interactive if, as fans or as new comic creators or indie creators, hopefully you guys can get down on that. And hopefully this shout out helps them realize their goal. They're at about uh, $3,000 out of $5,000. So hopefully this is something that works out well for everyone. Next up, this has been mentioned to me more times than I can count this week. This is the Big Based Con Based Books Sale. That's right. There are so many people. It's ending tomorrow. So when you see this go up, it's going to go up a little later than normal. But when you guys see this video go up, you're going to know you got to go to the big base. Uh, that, that thing. You'll see the link. It's in the description. Go to that link. Dudes are selling books for a dollar, right? 99 cents. Not even a dollar. A penny less than a dollar. And all because they are trying to promote and get other indie creators out there. So that way you guys can have a fantastic story to put into your hands and maybe into the hands of your friends and maybe into the hands of loved ones. Who knows? Who knows what kind of stories are down there? I have seen the list and it is pretty big. There's a lot of people out there looking to become your new favorite creator and the big based con book sale. I have to keep reading it because that's, I can't say it five times fast is the place for you to go. So that is ending tomorrow, which is September 12th, 2023. So get in right now, as soon as you see this video. 
moving on, we are going to see what's new in some of the review sites. So this will be the review section or the review site section or friends of the channel section. I don't know. You saw the whoosh. We're in a new section. So here we go over on ironage.media. The guy has prompts going up actively all of the time. If you guys would like to go over to ironage.media and check out the prompts and see where your writing chops are at and potentially put things out that could get people interested in your work, I strongly, strongly recommend that you go check out the Iron Age prompts. The most recent one is The Missive from September 6, 2023. Over here, we've got Periopsis Press. Now, Periopsis Press is an absolutely fantastic review site for indie sci-fi and indie fantasy. I do a book club with her as well as Johnny Douglas and TJ Marquis once a month where we go over some novellas that we're checking out. Periopsis Press does some of the best breakdowns that I have seen, and even she is promoting the big based con based book sale this week. Like, that's how much even she believes in it. She also has a new review up since the last time I was here, and that is Twisting Every Way. Uh, <clears throat> and that is, actually, I believe she did multiple. I believe she did multiple novellas in this one, I think is what she said. But I'm telling you guys right now, professional, long-form reviews, they're going to give you the break. She is going to give you a breakdown of how everything is structured in the books, kind of where the writing comes from. I'm telling you, if you're not checking out Periopsis Press to find out where... Uh, your next books are coming from, you guys are doing it wrong. And that's just all I have to say about that. Moving on to this section, where is what's ending soon? So this is the ending soon section. I should put title cards down here. I have to animate all that. It'll happen, guys. It'll happen. But ending soon, we've got John Della Rose. He is doing kind of a, a second chance, a kind of a full-blown chance. I don't even know what you call this, but John Della Rose over on Fund My Comic is releasing and re, uh, uh, re resending out all of his Flying Sparks novels, all of his comics. So you guys can go. You can buy the whole kit and caboodle. You can buy the individual books here and there. But this is ending in 21 hours from the recording of this video. By the time you guys see it, it's probably going to be around 19 hours or so. So make sure that you guys go and you check out Fun My Comic if you want to get in on John Della Rose's Flying Sparks graphic novels. I hope, I hope, I hope in the future he'll put them out there in again and hopefully i'll be able to actually go and purchase the physical novels i've got uh i've got the first one or first two i cannot remember but i have one of them in the pdf form but i'd love to physically hold them in my hands so go check out john de La rose over on fun my comic another comic that is ending soon this is discord now surprisingly enough this one didn't get a lot of backing it's got quite a ways to go but it has two days left. It's only funded at 8%, but Discord is an absolutely fantastic, uh, it looks like an absolutely fantastic story by uh, an author that definitely knows their way around writing. However, it just seems that this one's not going to quite make it there, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can make the final push in these last 48 hours to help Discord cross over the line. This is a story that really spoke to me as somebody who could see the souls and the movements of people through music, and they use that to fight the underworld of trafficking as well as trying to find uh, a long-lost family member or figure out what happened to that long-lost family member. Sorry, I'm doing this on the fly, so my memory gets a little crisscross sometimes next up we've got saga of the sword breaker invincible under heaven now this one's got quite a few days left this one's got nine days left over on indiegogo this is by kit sun chi a lot of my audience is very excited about kit sun chi a lot of my audience is very excited and they keep telling me about him. They keep telling me how great he is, the fantastic work that he's doing. He is at 91% of his funded goal. So with nine days left, if you guys want to check out Kit Sun Chi and back that project over on Indiegogo, I would strongly, strongly recommend that you guys go and check him out. All right, and moving on to what won on my live stream last week. I do a live stream every single week on Wednesdays. It's called Comic Shop Wednesday. It's where I have a bunch of creators drop their links in a Twitter thread that I do or an X thread or a post. I don't even know what they're called anymore. I call it Twix. You guys should call it Twix too. It's a great name. Twitter plus X it means Twix. But we go through all of these fantastic projects and myself and my supporters vote on four of them to take a deeper look. The ones that got voted on to take a deeper look are 
Battle Brick Road by Eric Weathers. Now, this is an interesting take on the Wizard of Oz. It's the Wizard of Oz, but with Pew Pews, and I'm down. And I also happen to have had the creator of this on my Ripaverse live stream that I told you guys about in the front of the show. That's Eric Weathers. We even talked about it in the show because Eric Weathers works with the Ripaverse and works for the Ripaverse or works for Eric. I don't even know how that works. He's another Eric over at the Ripaverse. He's, a, you know, he's not the July Eric. He's, he's the Weathers Eric. It's, it's a different. Just check out Battle Brick Road if you guys are interested. The next one that won was the Mythicals. This is the pre-launch campaign for the Mythicals 2 from Hojo. That man came out with a fiery fury on the first go. And I am hearing some fantastic reviews from the first Mythicals. I wish I could have backed it. Sadly, all of these projects that come out, I'm not able to back all of them. I got to pick and choose the ones that I can do. And sometimes I miss out on some really good things. But you know what? That's the life of being a dad and having to take care of the kiddos. However, what I can say is I have gotten to interview him. I have seen the artwork and I am unbelievably blown away. Still to this day, my favorite launch trailer was the Mythicals number one launch trailer. Still my favorite trailer that I have seen from probably the hundreds of projects that I've viewed at this point. So guys, go over to fund my comic and get in on the Mythicals too early to see how that plays out. Next up over on Amazon, we've got Christopher D. Brand. That's right, a blade for hire. This is an interesting take on a story of a man trying to escort some priests and getting into a nutso situation. We really liked this story. It struck a chord with all of us. And honestly, all of these projects that I'm telling you about, usually we have a grand winner at the end of the night. We were kind of blown away with all of them. And we couldn't actually pick. So instead of saying, well, we just can't pick, all of us decided in a unanimous vote, all of them take the night. And it was so impressive from guys like Christopher D. Brand and, you know, Eric Weathers and, um, and Hojo and the next project I'm about to show you. We told everybody in the Indie Sphere, guys, if this is where India is going, it's time to step up. It's time to step up. And with that being said, this project, and this is really where we all realize that, holy crap, we are in a new age of indie. On Indiegogo, Island in the Stars, Aussie sci-fi adventure film. Th this is the treasure planet that I wanted when I was a kid. This looks like a treasure planet. They say Pirates of the Caribbean meets original Star Wars in this classic sci-fi adventure. Everything that we are seeing here I hope that they are able to reach their goal of $66,000. I'm going to shout this from the rooftops. I want to back this so badly. I just need to make sure that I can. There are so many different tiers that you can back. But if you guys go to this Indiegogo page and you don't feel something from what they are showing you here and you don't see what this movie can be, I don't know what, what better would help you guys see that. But Island in the Stars as they describe it, is going to be Pirates of the Caribbean meets classic Star Wars. And the passion that they're all speaking with, and the crew is all speaking with, and the director is speaking with, really, really says something to me. And it says that, you know what, guys? We might be able to get those fantastic mid-level movies, low-budget movies, again. So go check out Island in the Stars. Finally, to wrap up my final thoughts on this week, I do hope that all of you are enjoying these weekly updates. I know I missed last week, but there really wasn't a whole lot of news to kind of cover last week. There's news in the indie sphere is weird to find, and I do always want to start off with news and then go into the projects, but I want to hear from you guys. That's the biggest thing. What can I do in this show to make it better for you? I, 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 this was recommended that I do it this way for a long time. I've gotten some great feedback on it, but as always, I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below because that's how I grow my channel. That's how I connect with my audience. And if you guys want to make sure that I'm actually reading your comments, tune in every single Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. 
I do a live stream called Sunday Coffee, and I explicitly read your comments from my last week's videos and live streams on that live stream. So go there, check it out, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, and thank you all so much for being here. And as always, everybody, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.